culture is extremely important part of who Nucor is. And if we think about our mission statement, the words gratitude and family are both a big part of it along with safety. That's a big reason why we support the Children's Hospital because of that word family. In our 18 years, we're approaching $6 million raised. In the past, we've supported Simon the Loving Lion from pastoral care. We moved on to Beads of Courage. And from there, we have some excess funds and some needs at the hospital. The medical dog program was introduced to us and we were asked if that was a program that we could send our funds to to help support while also supporting all the other things we've done for children's over the years. And it was a no-brainer. Everybody loves animals and when they see Wanda now, our medical dog, it just enlightens their day and it was something we wanted to be a part of. I don't even think you could count the ways that Wanda has been able to help all the patients here. She's truly such a bright light for the patients, their families, the staff members that are able to see her in the hallways. But also, Wanda does help meet medical goals like mobility and helping get kids up after surgery or if someone had a tough day and they need some emotional support. She can do all those things. So she really is helping to meet all the family-centered care needs that we try to meet here at Children's. Miguel is a very strong, outstanding little kid. He's very outgoing. He loves to play and uh, he loves his family. He's a real family-oriented little guy. Miguel being born with a uh, yeah, holes in his heart. He wanted to play football so bad. I signed him up for football and got out there and had practice. He ended up collapsing. First into the hospital and found out that his his heart was very weak and really couldn't got to the point where he couldn't do no more. So when we first got here it was rough. Like it, it was really rough. But for the last past three months he's been he's been doing fine. No complaints. Hopefully we one step closer to getting when we came in for. When they first put my ring the tube in, um, and then when they took it out. That's when I got to meet Wanda, and then I said, I love Wanda, and she take care of me. Wanda didn't get to meet Miguel until a little bit later in his admission. He had had several obstacles to overcome, one of them being having a breathing tube for an extended amount of time. And when he finally got his breathing tube out, even though he could communicate, it was very difficult for him. He was very weak, and so he was having a day where he's having a lot of anxiety. He was feeling very nervous. And Wanda was able to go see him. And within several minutes of Wanda laying in the bed with him, he looked up and said, clear as day, I love Wanda. And everyone in the room, I think was just shocked that he was able to say that. And I think it's just a testament to the impact and how beneficial Wanda is to the kids that are here. Oh, Miguel lights up. He's always like, Wanda, like, She's here, he's always asking about Wanda. At one point he called her his girlfriend because he just loves when Wanda comes around and lays in the bed with him. It's really sweet. Nucor's definitely helped a lot with giving us Wanda and they've made a huge impact by letting her spend so much time with us and getting our patients better and improving the morale of the nurses. Working at Nucor, seeing what Nucor does, getting to see some stories from other people, something I've never experienced and maybe never really appreciated, but getting to see it firsthand, it's just extremely amazing. My daughter fell one evening while I was at a dinner. My wife called me, she, she had broke her arm. We ended up going to DCH and it was pretty bad, so they, they sent us to Children's. My teammate out here, he's like, hey, would it be cool if a visitor came by? I'm like, absolutely. I, I didn't really know what he meant at the moment. Well, when Wanda came in, her face lit up. For a minute, there was no pain. She wasn't thinking about it. She wasn't thinking about going home. It was just amazing to see her mind get taken away from everything that was going on. The weirdness is an awesome experience. Unfortunately, many families have had to use Children's on several occasions. And seeing what Children's does and the child life team, the doctors and nurses of Children's just makes what we do that much more important. Our hope for every child at Children's of Alabama is that they have the access and care that they need to recover and get better. And Wanda's a big part of that. Seeing and talking to the teammates who've had access to Children's and the gratitude that they show for the staff and the teammates up at the hospital is overwhelming. The staff at Children's are lifesavers for sure. Sutton, our baby, was born three months early and we found out that she had hydrocephalus due to a brain bleed because she was a preemie. I don't think anybody can prepare you to go through something like that, but Children's definitely helped us through it. She had a revision on June the 30th of this year 
and since then she has been great. So anybody that could support Children's is a great thing. The commitment that Newport Steel has made in helping to bring these programs to Children's is remarkable. And year after year they keep coming back wanting to do more and wanting to support us more. And I can say that Wanda would not be here without Newport Steel. And so every program they support here at the hospital truly does make a difference in the lives of our patients and families every single day.